Hi everybody, I'm going to do a video today about how to crochet on the top of a kitchen towel. I like the way that they sort of hang when they're folded like this instead of when they're all the way out and then they crochet and they kind of just hang together. So what I do is I cut my towel in half and then I just zigzag or if I have white thread on my serger, I surge across here and I have it folded. See, this is, this is folded. Well, somebody was wanting to know what I did to make um, the holes in my crochet and so I can crochet in it. Well, I just have a few tools I use and I forgot my scissors, but I use a little pair of scissors. I use a big darning needle. I use a small crochet hook. This one says 2.55 millimeters. And then I use a H. So I'm going to use the small crochet hook and the darning needle to start with. And this happens to be, I love this yarn. You can use whatever yarn you have. Um, and I also like to make um, tight stitches. I don't like single crochet, but I like to make half double crochet. So what I use in this is just half double crochet and triple crochet. So this is how I make the holes. I just take my darning needle and I, I come down under the zigzag and I'm going to try to stay straight. So I make my first hole just a little ways away from the corner or the edge I should say. And then I poke my small crochet hook in right away. And then I just pull up a loop. And then I yarn over and pull through. And then I hold this yarn to the back. And I'm going to catch it for a long ways. And then I'll clip it off over here. But the next one I do... I just go right next to it, make a hole, and then immediately put my hook in there and pick that up. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Sometimes it hits the edge of the yarn and it um, like I don't know, snags it or whatever. So I pull it through and pull it back out and find find it. I feel like I'm not not able to see what I'm doing. So let me see if this is a better angle. If you um, get up, can you bring me my little scissors, Jeff? Jeff, can you bring me my little scissors over there? So I'm going to go right next to this and poke a hole. My hands feel like they're dry. I just poke a hole. And I go all the way through because this part of the needle is larger. So I just, I feel like it makes a bigger hole. So when I come back through here, I want to make sure that this yarn is over the top so that it gets worked into the back of that. <clears throat> my husband's bringing me my little scissors. These are my favorite scissors. I've had them for many years. Anyway, I just go all the way across the bottom here. And poke holes. Sometimes if I feel really strong I can just use this little crochet hook and poke holes. But most of the time that's pretty difficult to do so it's a lot easier just to take a darning needle and poke a hole. And remember I'm catching that tail on the back. I don't know if I can pause this. I know you can speed it up, but I don't know if you can pause it and come back when when it's done. So I'm going to shut it off and see if I can do that. So I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> 